Mastering Embedded Questions Using Question Words Hello, learners! Welcome to another exciting video in our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the world of embedded questions, focusing specifically on the topic using question words in embedded questions. By the end of this video, you will be confident using question words to form and understand embedded questions. Before we jump into using question words in embedded questions, let's quickly remind ourselves of what embedded questions are. Embedded questions, also known as indirect questions, are questions that are part of a larger sentence. They can be in statements, questions, or requests. Here's an example. I wonder if she's coming to the party. The embedded question here is, if she's coming to the party. Now let's delve into our main topic. Using question words in embedded questions. Question words like, who, what, where, when, why, and how are fundamental to embedded questions. They help provide context and guide the kind of response needed. For instance, he asked where the party was. Here, where, guides us to understand that the embedded question is about the location of the party. The structure of embedded questions with question words is slightly different from that of normal questions. Instead of following the question word plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb structure, embedded questions generally follow the question word plus subject plus verb structure. For example, instead of asking, where did you go? Direct question. You'd say, she asked where you went. Embedded question. Notice how the subject, you, comes before the verb, went in the embedded question, unlike the direct question. Let's look at some examples. 1. Can you tell me when the bus arrives? Instead of, when does the bus arrive? 2. I don't know how she solved the problem. Instead of, how did she solve the problem? 3. He wondered who had eaten the last piece of cake. Instead of, who ate the last piece of cake? As you can see, understanding and using question words in embedded questions can add a level of sophistication and clarity to your English conversations. And that wraps up our discussion on using question words in embedded questions. With practice and understanding, you'll soon be framing these questions with ease. Remember, mastering a language is a journey, so don't rush and enjoy the process. Happy learning and see you in our next video.